Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Nissan of Quakertown in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Check out this brand new 2024 Nissan Pathfinder SL all-wheel drive in obsidian green with a charcoal leather interior. We're going to check this Pathfinder out, see what Nissan's bringing to the table here in the 2024 model year. So let's dig in. All right, front end on the 24 Pathfinder. Again, the obsidian green looking good. The new Nissan badge on the gloss black V-Motion grille with the chrome surround. LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, standard bulbs for turn signals. No fog lamps here on the 24 Pathfinder. Smooth out area, so we don't have any fake venting in here, which I like. It's all smoothed out, flat black down below. But unfortunately, we, do, we should have had fog lamps in here. Um, instead of this design here, but otherwise it's a really good looking front end on this beefy looking Pathfinder. Wheel and tire setup on the 24 Pathfinder. We have a 20 inch aluminum alloy wheel. I call it gunmetal gray. Kind of a, you know, darker silver on the wheel, which I think looks nice. Nothing too bright. Nissan badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now these 20 inch wheels are wrapped in hand cooked Dynapro HP2 all season tires. 255 on the width, a 50 series sidewall, 20s, all four corners, all wheel drive. Full side profile on this Pathfinder. The obsidian green, I like it, looks good. We do have some gloss black around the windows, some chrome down just on the bottom side, not all the way around. Flat black around the wheel wells and along the door sills, Pathfinder name on the bottom of the rear door. But it's a good looking shape. Pathfinder has always looked about the same. Really no design change here for 2024 in the Pathfinder. Moving in closer, there's that flat black plastic around the wheel wells and down along the bottom of the door with Pathfinder right there on the bottom, as you would always find. Color matched on side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched on the front and the rear door handle. Left side fuel filler cap. Up top, we have a brushed aluminum uh, roof rails with crossbars, color matched roof, with shark fin antenna and we have the panoramic roof all right the rear end of your pathfinder roof spoiler coming off the top the wiper down below in the glass i like to see them tuck that up underneath the roof spoiler to protect it from the uh, weather and from car washes and to clean up the back of the window nissan badge in the middle pathfinder spelled out in chrome underneath that sl four-wheel drive bottom right led tail light standard bulbs for turn signals we have some of that brushed aluminum down around the wind uh, the license plate area and then we have our tow hitch hookup and we'll go over those towing numbers when we take a look at the engine and our exhaust is tucked up underneath the right side of the vehicle all right we're under the hood of the pathfinder we have a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 engine made it to a nine speed automatic transmission 284 horsepower 259 pound feet of torque the pathfinder can tow up to 6,000 pounds mpgs 21 in the city 27 on the highway 23 combined the engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior of this Pathfinder, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much is this baby going to cost me for 2024? Well, this is the, <clears throat> the lowdown that we have here on this Pathfinder. MSRP base price before options on the 24 Pathfinder SL four-wheel drive is $44,130. This vehicle has the SL premium package for an additional 2,990. That gets you the power panoramic moonroof, 20 inch alloy wheels, the towing package with up to 6,000 pounds of capacity, the Bose premium 13 speaker audio system, heated second row captain's chairs, second row removable center console. And then an extra 220 for the splash guards, an extra 390 for the crossbars, and an extra 280 for the carpeted floor mats for the captain's chairs. We then add in destination and delivery of $1,335 from Nissan's Smyrna, Tennessee assembly plant. And we have a total MSRP from the factory of $49,345. The dealer added a couple of accessories. They added wheel locks for an additional 90, all weather floor mats for an additional 200, so your total vehicle asking price for the vehicle on the lot today by the dealer is $49,635, essentially 50K. Let's check it out. 
starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator there. Are those all season Pathfinder floor mats on the vehicle now. We have power seats with lumbar for the driver and the front passenger. Charcoal, leather seats with the white stitching. Nice headrest, nice bolstering, nice interior elephant skin type design on it. Really looks good here in this Pathfinder SL. Door panel action, leather up top with the stitching brushed aluminum on the door handle. Nice soft armrest with gloss black on the, or in and around the switch gear, but the switch gear itself is flat. Nice large door pocket. And then we have our leather up top, soft touch, then leather, then stitching, then a place for storage, and then a nice large glove box. Infotainment screen, Nissan's nine inch system. Once you wake it up, good response to pinch to zoom. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, built in nav. You can go to your menu and get your Sirius XM. You can get your uh, your regular radio. If you listen to regular radio, you get your weather. You get your clock. You can customize your home menu if you would like and put up where, what you want to have on the home menu. So that's a nice touch. We can get back to the, to the beginning if you would like. So it's really easy to use, very responsive. You can connect up to six devices in here as well. You can go to your cameras. Look at that. Beautiful backup camera with trajectory and the 360 degree view. Beautifully looking, nicely done. Improvement of big time on the Nissan camera for sure. And then you can go to back and you're all set and ready to go. Here's your connections button right here where you can connect, like I said, up to six devices. You got your Wi-Fi hotspot, your USBs, and you're all set to go. Easy peasy, one, two, three, back to map. Down below, four-way hazards, two. Heat and air, air vents. There is your push button start right there and down below. Dual climate, got to love that. Three-stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger and your heated steering wheel. So they got you covered for the winter. Down further, we got a 12-volt USB-C, USB-A and a wireless charging pad. So they got you covered there. Here is the uh, gear shift that's going to take you through this nine-speed automatic down further electronic emergency brake auto vehicle hold engine auto stop start on off we'll rock with that off drive modes which we'll show you when we get to the dash and your hill descent control an area for change two cup holders nissan key fob looking good remote start lock unlock pop the tailgate panic button nice weight Center armrest, Pathfinder right there, leather, stitching, open that up. And you got a change area and a larger area for storage. Nissan steering wheel, loving the new Nissan steering wheels. Leather wrapped steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, nice stitching. Updated Nissan band on the horn button. Some brushed aluminum to lift it up. Flat bottom for ease to get in and out, which I like. Flat black on the switch gear. On the left, you have your controls for the digital portion of your dash and your volume. Adaptive cruise safety suite controls, and then of course your voice and telephone commands on the right. Getting in closer, we have paddles to go up and down this nine speed auto, and then you can adjust your headlights. Your windshield wipers on the right, down here on the left, you have brighten and dim the dash. This is steering assist, so this will help you stay in a straight line when you're in cruise control without having your having the hands on the wheel all the time. And then you have your uh tailgate release right here and then as far as the steering wheel we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel so nissan's got you covered there like that and then our dash pretty simple we have an analog digital combo analog gauges for your speedometer tachometer fuel level coolant temperature and then a small display in the center we'll take a look at our drive modes going to the left on the dial right now we're in normal now we got eco, now we got sport, now we got tow, back to the left. We got snow, mud rut, sand, they got all the drive modes you're going to need in this Pathfinder for sure. That is for sure in here. And then, of course, you have additional information that you can get to here on the center screen, which is about seven, inch, seven inches of digital pleasure. And uh, you have submenus for each one, so it's a really nice, easy-to-use system.
overhead console. You want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door. This button with the picture of the car in the open door is off and stays off. Open the door, the lighting comes on. Close the door, the lighting dims out. SOS button, in case there's an emergency on the road. Here is the panoramic roof controls right here. So to open your shade, give it a click. Shade will go back. Halfway, click number two. And it will go back over your mid-row passengers. And then the other switch, we open up our glass. Our wind buffeter comes up. And then we can just close it on up. And we don't, do have a tilt function in here as well. And then we can then close our shade. And then again, one extra turn. Must be the same parts Ford uses on their panoramic roof. Operates the exact same way. And now we have our sun visor with vanity and a light. And it slides the block out the side sun. Getting in the mid-row of the Pathfinder, see the set for my driving position, will pop on in, nice and easy. Plenty of room back here, right here for my knees, my head, my shoulders at 5'11". Got the leather all the way down, seat pocket behind each front seat, looking good. In the back, rear climate control, three-stage heated seats for both captain's chairs. So they got you covered there. Down below, USB-C, USB-A connectivity. Door panel, same as the front with the leather up top. Nice soft armrest, two cup holders in the door as well. And you also have your safety shades that you can lift up. So they got you covered there. But I'm glad Nissan kept the door panels with the same vibe. Captain's chairs, nice leather, nice headrest, nice design. These armrests do not ratchet, so I like that. A little thin, but not bad for the arm. And then you have your removable uh, center console area, two cup holders and a place for storage. And if you don't want it here, you can just pull this out and chuck it in the back. But in the mid-row, nice and comfortable. And this air feels so good on me on this 97-degree day. All right, getting in the third row, easy peasy. You've got one button down here to push. And the seat moves up and out of the way for you to get into row number three. So we'll step on in. And once we're in, not bad. Knees are a bit high, but I got enough headroom and enough shoulder width room here in the back. What do we got going on? Two cup holders and a USB connectivity in row number three with some heat and air vents as well to keep you cool on both sides. So I like that. But we don't have USB connectivity on the left side of row number three. Two cup holders, but that's it. A speaker for music. But if I want to use this, I got to beat up the guy next to me and take over his USB or else I have to string a wire all the way up to the back of the center console. So Nissan put one on either side so we don't have kids fighting over USBs back here. But you can <clears throat> recline these third rows down. So not bad. Same material. Headrests are a bit quirky, but same comfortable seating material in the back, the leather. So I like that. And if I try to squeeze over behind this one to give you an idea, look at that. I'm not going to fit. There's just no way. I'm going to fit. So it is a bit cramped. I would say small adult children in row number three here in the Pathfinder. All right, getting into the cargo area of the Pathfinder. Pop it from the key fob or from the dash. Or you come to the back. I'm right underneath here. There's a button. Hit it. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button here. And what are we looking at? With the third row up, 16.6 .6 cubic feet of cargo space. In the Pathfinder underneath here, we got more cargo space area, which is a nice touch. And our spare is behind the tow hitch underneath the vehicle. Just want to give you a shot of that. We do have 12 volt for power in the back. And now to get the third row down is pretty easy. You just have to lower these headrests and push them down. Lower these heads rest, push them down. Now, once you get the mid-row down, now you're looking at 48.8 cubic feet of space. And now if you want max space, you got to put that mid-row down. And unfortunately, we do not have levers here in the back to drop the mid-row. So to drop the mid-row, you got to go around to each door and pull this up, flatten the seat down. Come around the other side. 
the rear door, flatten the seat down. And now, with all seats down, 80.5 cubic feet of space in the back of the Pathfinder. Very competitive as far as the cargo room in this Nissan. Let me know what you guys think. All right, window sticker on this Pathfinder. We'll zoom on in. Take a look at our standard features. Options. Total, fa total factory MSRP. Here are our fuel economy estimates. Crash test rating. Smear to Tennessee. Dealer accessories. Total vehicle asking price. Let's take her out for a spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 24 Pathfinder SL all-wheel drive. Obsidian green, great color. And you know what? We got the same Pathfinder in 2024 than we had in 2023. There are no, there's no material changes made by Nissan in the Pathfinder. We got all the same action. I do like what they have in this SL setup, though, with your 9-inch screen. You don't have to have the biggest one. It's nice and clear. It works well. Wireless CarPlay Android Auto. I got heated seats. I got heated steering wheel, heated seats in the mid-row. USB-A, USB-C connectivity front and back with wireless charging, panoramic roof. I got most of what I need to get to live with day in and day out. Love the, the naturally aspirated V6. I'm glad Nissan stuck with the naturally aspirated V6 in the Pathfinder as so many of the competition is moving to the Turbo 4 in their three-row midsize SUVs. So it's nice to see a V6 still in the Pathfinder. It's really, really nice linear torque delivery. Really nice power. It just pulls it so effortlessly down the road. Not the most horsepower, not most torque, but it gets the job done. Steering, very direct, very good. Nissan is really giving their vehicle some good handling. And for a large vehicle with all season, tires this handles awfully well get a little feedback from the road as well so nice job by Nissan on the handling well damped nice and quiet in here you get some road noise do get some wind noise but overall pretty quiet with obviously no music or anything on the car so no problem there but it feels really good it feels really good We're going to try our turning radius. Don't have official specs, so we'll eyeball it in three, two, one. If it's less than 20, we can get around. It's right about 20, maybe a little over 20 feet in the turning radius department. That's 19 feet on the road. So we went a little bit onto the grass. So I'm going to say 19.7 to 20 feet on the turning radius here. Not bad for a big three row SUV. And now we're down the road, smooth as glass. Smooth as glass. We're going to slow down now. We're going to see if we can do a little takeoff. Feather it in on the new engine in three, two, one. Sport mode, here we go. And down the road we go, easy peasy, one, two, three. Again, it's not going to set fires. Right? It's not going to peel the skin off a of rice pudding, but it's fine. And it's got good handling and not a whole lot of body roll. Not as much as I would have thought in an SUV like this. So good stuff. Good stuff here from this Pathfinder for 24. Again, same kind of same vehicle as we had in 23 on a Pathfinder. No change there. But it's still a good solid SUV with the naturally aspirated V6 engine. Let me know if you're in the market for this midsize three-row. Is the Pathfinder on your list? If it's not on your list, I'd put it on your list if you want that V6. Because not everybody has a V6. Give it a try. Give it a try. What do you got to lose? If you like it, great. If you don't like it, you move on to the next one. But it's I, I really do think it's something worth taking a look at. Love the engine. Love how smooth it is. 
great smooth transmission as well. Thumbs up from Shabby's Rides on this Pathfinder. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to go Pathfinder, higher trim, lower trim, or go somewhere else with your hard-earned money. But I want to thank Sioka Nissan of Quakertown here in Quakertown, Pennsylvania for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Nissan Pathfinder SL all-wheel drive in Obsidian Green for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.